We're in a brand new chapter, chapter 8, about length in customary units. This lesson is about measure with inch models. We can use inch models to measure length. We can put inch models side by side below an object. Then we can count how many models we used to know the object's length in inches. So here we have a green stick. It's kind of green and blue, really. How long is this green stick? Well, each color tile is about one inch. We line the color tile up with the edge of the stick, and we put color tiles side by side next to each other with no gaps, no overlaps, no spaces between them. Then we count the number of color tiles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And because each color tile is about an inch, this means the stick is about seven inches long. We say about because the color tile is about one inch. That means it's very close to one inch. It's not a precise measurement. It's just about one inch. So we're going to be using these one inch models, these color tiles throughout this lesson, and we're going to be using them for the next lesson also. So for the parents and students, we can make our own color tiles. We mark the length of construction paper at one inch increments along the lengths and the widths. The reason we do both sides is so we can put a ruler lined up with this mark, lined up to this one down here, so we know we're making a straight line. And we can line it up with this mark to this mark to draw a straight line. And a standard sheet of paper is eight and a half by 11. So there's gonna be a little half inch piece that's not gonna be used. Some construction paper is a little larger, so you may get a few more inch models. So you can make your own and you'll be able to work along with this lesson and the next one. We can measure the length of an object in inches using color tiles that are about one inch long. We line up the edge of a tile with the edge of an object we are measuring. So we just line it up like this right along the edge here. There should be no gaps or overlaps. They should be right next to each other. Now we've used three, and that makes four. So we can say that that stick was about four inches. Each color tile is about an inch, and we used one, two, three, four of them. So we know the stick is about four inches. So to measure this stick, we lined our color tiles up neatly side by side, with no gaps or overlaps, and we count them. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven color tiles. That means it's about eleven inches. We want to measure this little strip of cardboard. We line up the color tiles nice and neat so there's no gaps or overlaps. We want it to be nice and straight. It's lined up on this edge and it's lined up on this edge. We count. One, two, three, four. It's about four inches long. We need to line up the edges so the measure is correct. If we didn't line up the measures correctly, or if there were gaps or overlaps, we could think that this was maybe, you know, three, or if we overlapped them like that, we might be able to squeeze another one in and we'll think that it's five. So you have to make sure they're spaced nicely and that they line up with the edges and that there's no gaps or overlaps, okay? A small paper clip is about one inch long. There's big paper clips, but a small paper clip is about one inch long. A real dollar bill is about six inches long. So how many are needed to have 14 inches? And we can think six inches plus six inches is 12 inches. 
And to get to 14, we could just add two small paper clips. So that would be $2 bills for 12 inches and then two paper clips for two more inches to make 14 inches. We could also do $1 bill at six and then how many more ones would we need to get to 14? If you said eight, you're right, because six, one six, plus eight ones is 14. What if we only used paper clips? How many would we need? If you said 14, you're right. They're each about one inch, and if we had 14 of them, it would be 14 inches. Sophia has a ribbon that is 15 inches long. She needs to cut it into pieces that are five inches long. How many pieces can she make? We think we can count equal groups of five until we have 15. She can do a piece that is five inches long. And then if she does another piece that's five inches long, well, five plus five, that's 10. And if we do another piece that's five inches long, that would be 10 plus five, that would be 15. That means she would have one, two, three pieces. We thought, how many equal groups of five can we make with 15? We can make three. Bob used color tiles to measure a pencil. Each tile is about one inch. How long is the pencil? We need to circle the number in the box to make the sentence true. It says the pencil is about, is it about five inches, six inches, or seven inches? We know that each one of these is about an inch, and we count how many there are. But think, we have to be very careful. Look at the pencil. The pencil starts here at the end of the boxes. And where does the pencil end? The pencil ends here. That means it's one, two, three, four, five. The correct answer would be five. Remember as you're measuring, you wanna line up the beginning and the end with the color tiles. So this is an extra one, is it? isn't it? We didn't need this one. It's about five inches. So in our next lesson, we're going to be working with color tiles again, and it's 8.2, and we're going to make a and use a ruler from color tiles. Have a really good day. Stay well, stay safe, and I hope you'll join me next time. Bye.